Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver YouTuber Nuzlocke Edition! In the last part, we entered Goldenrod City and we are now exploring. We are in the underground. We kicked some trainer butts. We found the coin case so we can gamble our hearts out. Now we're going to keep on going through here. So sometimes behind here you'll see um, shop guys, but today they're not here because it changes based on the day of the week. In Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Crystal, um, there, there's a system where there's different days of the week. So as you can see in our Poke Gear, right now it's Monday. So apparently none of them come here on Monday. I don't know why, because Monday is a work week day, but whatever, it's Pokemon, they do what they want. So we're just gonna fight. That's what we're gonna do. Yes, I do. Anyway, so we're gonna fight. So yeah, usually there's um, there's two haircut brothers. One is more expensive and better. One is cheaper and not as good. And what they do is they raise your Pokemon's happiness. And when your Pokemon is happier, the only real effect is that some Pokemon need happiness to evolve. So it doesn't really matter, but whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go for a Magnitude. Now in this game, Magnemite, so originally Magnemite was just an electric type, but now it's an electric and steel type. And I always forget what the type matchups are against steel. I know fire is good against it. I think ground is good against it, but I could be wrong. Um, but in the later games, Magnemite has an ability called Levitate. I talked about this before with Ghastly. Um, we'll keep Shofu in because none of the electric type attacks can affect Shofu, so this is the best. I love the sound of both our games. Um, so yeah, Magnemite nowadays has an ability called Levitate. But in these games, he doesn't. Levitate makes it so you can't hit them with ground type moves. But it doesn't matter, because it doesn't have it. So we're just going to keep kicking it. But Voltorb doesn't have any of that. It just has self-destruct, which is like the worst move ever for Nuzlocke. So yeah, we'll just keep these guys in, because our other Pokemon won't be really good, especially against Magnemite, since it's a Steel type. Normal type moves aren't good against it. I'm not gonna put in Charlie because it's a Flying type. Uh, Felicia is already kind of high level, so I want to give her a break and let the other guys get some levels. We're not gonna put Albin because Alb will die. Um, actually, oh yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna say I could put in Alb and switch out to Shofu, but. Magnemite has Sonic Boom, which doesn't count for type and always does 10. Sorry. So Magnemite, so Sonic Boom, always does 20 damage regardless of type. Um, so it's still dangerous even if we switch in. So next time we'll put in L. We'll train L later. Pokemon can also gain happiness just by walking when you walk around. Every like 256 steps or something, they gain one point of happiness. Um, max happiness is like 255, and Pokemon are bored or start with different happiness levels depending on the Pokemon species. It's a kind of long, complicated thing, but happiness is good, is the basic story. Um, but in this game it doesn't really matter unless it's a specific Pokemon like Eevee, if you want to evolve it using happiness into Espeon or Umbreon, otherwise it's not a big deal. Slowpoke. Let's switch out. Let's go to Mitch. Mitch should be okay. I might. I was thinking of switching to Jenna, but if Slowpoke has any psychic attacks right now, like Confusion, um, I don't know if it has it. I don't think it does, but Confusion is super effective against poison types, and Jenna is half poison type, so it would be a bad idea. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Oh yeah! Look at us. Let's go to Charlie. Let's try Charlie out. I saw, um, this was a while ago, but in some of the comments you guys called uh, Charlie a wacky sociopathic murderer, which I thought was really accurate and really hilarious considering that Charlie McDonald is probably one of the nicest people in the entire world, so... Our Charlie is indeed a wacky sociopathic murderer. I'm just gonna switch some of these attacks around. Yeah, I don't think it has anything psychic type wise. Okay. 
In the newer games, it's harder because Pokemon gain attacks so quickly in the new games. Like, they have so many more attacks so, so much more frequently. In this game, you only get, like, one attack every five or seven levels, so... Yeah. Yay, Charlie! <gasps> Guys, and if Charlie survives... If Charlie survives two more levels! <sighs> the, okay, this is the thing. This is the point in every Nuzlocke when my Pokemon, you know, I feel like we're super strong and, you know, nothing can stop us and we're almost about to evolve and then everyone dies. I mean it. In every Nuzlocke I've played, this is the point when every single Pokemon, like, just hits the dirt. So... Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Okay, there's a little hallway down here. I don't think there's actually anything in it, but there might be an item. Uh, this hallway is important later because there's a secret hideout in there. But there's nothing we can do about it now because we don't have the key, so we'll just do it later. Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna be really careful because this this point of the game has a lot of freaky memories for me. So, gotta be careful. This? Oh, this is the name raider. Uh, so if we want to re-nickname our Pokemon, we can, but I'm not going to. But if I accidentally don't nickname someone, I can come to him and give him a nickname. We're gonna go try and get the bike. Oh, the gym. I don't even want to think about it right now. Um, so I think this... this... no. No, there's nothing in here. And... I'm pretty sure this girl doesn't give us anything out of I know, I know. Um, that's also why you don't give a Pokemon four moves that have five PP each, because then you can only attack 20 times. Before you have to struggle. This lady will give us a watering can. This this little girl, I think. And we need the watering can later for Sudoudo. Although I don't think we get it until after we beat the gym. Yeah, so we have to beat Whitney and then we'll get the watering can to move on to the next city. But the bike, okay, so if you guys ever played Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow, um, you'll remember that you had to get a voucher for the bike or pay, uh, like, there's, okay, so the start, of, I, I don't know if this is 100% true, but I'm pretty sure it's true. Um, I'm pretty sure these guys don't give us anything either. Oh, she rates our happiness. So if you want to figure out how happy your Pokemon are, you can go to her. Um, yeah, using items on your Pokemon, happiness, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, red, blue, and yellow, it, it, you had to get a bike voucher in order to get the bike. But in this game, you just get it for free, because he wants you to ride it around promotional-wise. Um, but in the original game, they also sold the bike for like $999,999. But what I've heard is that's $1 above the maximum amount of money you can make in the game. So it's actually impossible to save up and buy the bike. That's what I've heard. I don't know if it's 100% true, but I'm pretty sure it's true. Now we have the bike! Are you guys ready for this? Okay, I love, first of all, I love having a bike, and I love the music that goes with the bike. So we're gonna actually select this, so we can um, hit a button, and it'll go. So ready, ready, ready. Yeah, bitches! I mean, yay, yay bicycle! Woohoo! This is also how I used to hatch eggs. Um, you just do this, ah, oh, I love the bike. It's the best part of the whole game. Listen to that music! I'm sorry, I'm like so into this. The only thing is when you change routes, uh, the bike music changes. Or you just go to the regular music. But it's so, it's such a nice song. You're gonna be hearing this a lot, so I'll, I'll stop. Um, radio tower, that's where I wanted to go. That's not the radio tower, that's the underground. But you see, do you see like, how useful it is? You can just like whiz around. Okay, radio tower, here we go. Oh, look at this guy. So in the radio tower, there's a thing you can do called lucky number system, um, where all Pokemon have an identity number, and when you, your identity number is based on like you as a trainer, so you have an ID number. So the only way, so you try to match up and see if you get a match. The only way to like win is by trading your Pokemon a lot and getting other trainers Pokemon because they have different ID numbers. So you see none of mine match, so it doesn't count. This lady I think might give us the radio card, nope. I think this lady gives us the radio card if we pass the quiz. So we're gonna do the quiz, and I feel a lot of pressure because you guys are watching, but I've always won the quiz before. So 
Now I feel even more pressure. Okay. Can tell map be played on Pope Gear? Yes. It's tricky because sometimes they spell stuff wrong. Can Need Arena be female only? Yes. Does Kurt the po Oh, this is a no. No, because Apricorn is spelled with a C in this game. Magic Cap won't earn any. Oh, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> I forgot for a minute. No, because her name is spelled with a Y. Bingo! We are the best. So now we have a radio card, which means we can change the music. Um, and in this game, changing the music actually affects wild Pokemon. Because if you play certain songs, wild Pokemon will either appear or not appear. So I'll show you. So you gotta tune it, like an old school. You guys don't... Younger people might not know what this is. Um, so... I uh, think there's this one, which is just like, Professor Oak tells you where to catch Pokemon. Pokemon music changes on the day. So different days have different music. Sometimes it's the Pokemon lullaby. I think that's this one. Yeah. Um, Pokemon Lullaby. Other times it's... I forget what it's called. I think it's Pokemon March. And Pokemon March makes Pokemon appear more frequently. I think that one makes them less frequent. Lucky Channel is read, uh, saying the numbers or something. But it has the Game Center music, so it's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, so he tells you the lucky number. If you're not in Goldenrod, you can check your Pokemon and see if you have it. And if you don't have it, you know. So that's the radio. So if you don't leave it on, if you leave it on one of the stations, it'll play when you walk around. Otherwise, it'll just, you know, be whatever. Um, I'm gonna end this episode here because it got kind of long. I'm sorry. I'm, in the next episode, we're gonna go up the radio tower because I think we can talk to Professor Oak. Um, I'm not 100% sure, so we might not. I'm gonna check and find out. And then we're gonna go up north and we're gonna fight some trainers and get our levels up and try and catch some more Pokemon. That's the plan for next episode, more Pokemon. So we'll see if we can make it. So as always, thank you all for watching. Share with your friends, share with your enemies. Um, I really appreciate all you guys watching. I have a lot of fun making this series and I'm really excited for us to keep going and I hope to God that no one dies, but I think it's gonna happen at some point. So I'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching. I love you all and I'll see you later. Bye! Mwah!